All right, we're checking with the meteorologist right now, Marcus Bagwell. And man, it sure is hot. It sure is hot. There's no question about that. And we know it could be a lot hotter we for do. us. And I think as we get to the oh, end this of is hot this enough, week, trust me. oh, well, it's Ooh. probably going to get just a few degrees mm -hmm. hotter as we head into the week. Yeah, hot temperatures are going to stick around for us. We know that we are in the peak of the hottest weather for us in the middle of the summer. But we are keeping an eye on some slight relief that may come in play. First of all, many of us are under a heat advisory. And and it does expire this evening, but then it gets re-extended or reissued, I should say, heading into tomorrow. And that's going to encompass a good portion of East Texas, pretty much, let's say, from about Highway 69 points to the east for tomorrow. But regardless if you're under the heat advisory or not, it is just still very, very hot, and it feels hot outside. When you look at the heat index, when you factor in the air temperature, plus the dew points that are in the low 70s, and the light to calm wind, that plays a factor too. You get a heat index anywhere between about 100 to 108 right now. This looks to be fairly common that we've had throughout the area today, and that makes it very humid to be outside. I want to show you another graphic, too. This is going to be a look at the road temperature. So the pavement temperature is just an indication of how hot that it is. Our four-legged friends, yeah, they're not going to enjoy being outside in this. It is feeling like near 133 on those road temperatures right now. We usually show you this in the winter time. But you can notice near areas of lakes and some of our rivers, yeah, they come down a couple of degrees there because of the body of water having an influence. But either way, hot temperatures, and we're also continuing with very warm weather as well. Here's a look outside from Nacogdoches right now. You'll notice that the mainly sunny sky still continues for us here at this current moment, but it is very warm. 95, look at the light west northwest wind at six miles an hour, and it feels like about 104. It feels like 104. Four there in Nacogdoches. The air temperatures sitting into the lower and the mid 90s at this time. Look at what's happening on the big picture. That ridge of high pressure was over us for the weekend. That is now retreated out to the west. And that's going to allow for some disturbances to move in from the back door from our east. That's why we have some clouds in our east counties right now. No precipitation just yet, but there are some rain chances that will pick up in the next few afternoons. Here's a look at future cast. We've got 9, 8, 9 o'clock tonight, a couple of clouds, maybe a stray shower in our east and northeast counties. And then heading toward early tomorrow morning, clouds begin to build. And notice how future cast will show. Some of these hit and miss thunderstorms. This does not look to be widespread. About a 20 to a 30 percent rain probability, and they'll come to an end as we lose the daytime heating. But then watch on Wednesday. This east flow in the atmosphere allowing for more storms to develop. And again, Wednesday afternoon, I think our coverage may pick up just a bit more. And this could provide some temporary, temporary heat relief in the next couple of days. So mid 90s tomorrow, lower to mid 90s on Wednesday. And then starting Thursday, we'll heat back up. On our way to hotter temperatures by the weekend, if we keep drying out, we could be very close to the triple digits by Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Deep East Texas, a couple of storms the next few days. I think Wednesday, though, probably the better chance for some rainfall. Then I mentioned it as day number four, the